Hi, I'm Halif, and I'm half of the round the world guys. I've been exploring southern Iran, especially here in the beautiful city of Shiraz. But now, unfortunately, my time in southern Iran has come to an end, and today I'm flying way up north to the city of Tabriz in northern Iran. This is where we're gonna start our adventure this time. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Hey guys, good morning from the amazing city of Tabriz here in northern Iran. It's a completely different atmosphere, different people, different culture altogether. And I'm excited to start my journey here in Tabriz. And a lot of you probably wonder of how expensive is Iran. It's not really a lot of information out there about how cheap or expensive this whole country is. So today on this video, I'm going to be focusing on the cost of certain things here in Iran and especially here in Tabriz. And Tabriz is well known for the Tabriz Grand Bazaar, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. So I have 10 US dollars for 4.2 million rials, 420,000 tomans. See how confusing it is? I have all that kind of money to spend here in the bazaar. Hopefully we'll be able to do shopping because today is an exciting shopping day. The morning is my favorite part of the day. This is the best time to walk around the city because you start seeing people getting ready for the day. This is a good feeling overall. Help, <laughs> it's gonna help out here. All the apples are falling off. Apples? Indonesia. Yeah? Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Nice. <laughs> so the Grand Bazaar was built over a millennium ago. Although the majority of the ceiling and the structure you can see nowadays is built in the 15th century. The cool thing about this place is that there are so many different alleys and pathways to get all around. It was over seven kilometers long. So you can easily spend days here if you want to. And it has been operating for thousands of years. This is one of the 13 UNESCO World Heritage Sites here in Iran. And I can understand why. One thing that I find it fascinating here in Tabriz is that the majority of people here identify themselves more with the Azari culture, which is basically related to Azerbaijan. And they do speak Turkish, I think, or Azari, what they said, but they don't really speak Farsi. So that's something I learned along the way. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Oh my god. So cute. Look at that. It's beautiful. <laughs> I'm currently in the carpet section of the bazaar. Every single rug you can think of exists here. All of these rugs come from all over the region of Iran and they are so beautiful. Obviously, it is not part of my budget to buy any of the carpets here, but I'm just window shopping here for the carpet. In Indonesian, we call it cuci mata, means we just kind of wash our eyes. Holy crap, that's almost like the Louvre. And I was told to see the back side of it because you cannot see the density of the carpet. This is a well-made carpet for sure. They even have the upstairs section so I can actually see the market from above which is super cool. Look at the detailing. I mean you can definitely see how the design involves very detailed. Is it fair to wonder how many carpets they sell in a day? I mean it's gonna be pretty lucrative if they are still in business. Invited to sit down on the carpet. Mm, it's nice. It's soft. <laughs> That's all I can afford from the carpet here. <laughs> Even if you don't care about carpet, at least you can always look up and admire the architecture of these markets. Ah, the food section. This is probably somewhere I can spend a lot of money on. As you can imagine, the smell on this section is pretty delightful. There's a lot of spices, a lot of nuts, a lot of food here. 
and they are pretty colorful. I really like walking around this section. Six, seven, eight. I found the things that I was looking for. It's called the Chaffron Nabot and you see it everywhere here in Iran every single time you have tea and for 10 it cost me 160,000 riyals si, Merci! Thank you! Thank you! Oh, speaking of tea, I wish I could bring a bunch of these home unfortunately I have to pass but these are so good Ooh, rose water, that's good too Mahamadi That's for tea too, right? Yes, for tea, for drink I'm gonna get a few Mohammadi. This is like what I always treasure in Iran because I always find them in tea and they taste so good. That's probably good, yeah, that much. Tomas. Toman, yeah. One, two, two, three, four, five. Perfect. For you. Okay. About one dollar and twenty cents. That much. I'm so excited for you. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, we get a new fruit chewy from my new friend here. Thank you so much, Amir. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, that's what it is. Fruit leather. It's good. It's very good, huh? Of course, this is the busiest section of the market. It is where all the veggies and fruit are located. So, full of locals. And I have not seen any tourists yet so far. I have no idea what that is. What is it? I am so distracted from my original plan here just to purchase stuff because everybody is so nice so I have to interact with everybody here Where are you coming from? Indonesia Indonesia? Yeah Where are you coming from? Nice My to meet you My mother is Russian, my mother is Russian Pleasure Thank Pleasure. you very much yeah, Thank you Hi Salam <laughs> Hello What's your name? It's Mathieu Ahmed Ahmed is selling out Look how big that is Holy crap That's the biggest salary I've ever seen Biggest cauliflower ever What do they feed their veggies here? This is crazy Like everything is so big Look how big that is Holy crap One thing that I never have to worry about here in Iran is stick pocketers I honestly never feel unsafe Nor heard any stories about stick pocketers ever Hopefully I don't jinx myself Hi you again Thank yes. you, thank you <laughs> Probably my least favorite part of the market yeah all the meat stuff it's traditional i guess meat stuff. oh my goodness what is this oh man i don't think i'm gonna get that <laughs> pickle store this is i think given to him what do you call this? Chala. Chala? Chala? Yeah, whatever he said. Oh, oh snack. Okay. I think people are laughing though, but I'm just gonna take it for now. Merci. Merci. Yeah. <laughs> they also have grape leaves. I wish I could make this out of it, so I don't know what to do with them. I gotta take a break and meet the legend of Tabriz. This is Mr. Ali and he's been tending his store here. Good. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Good. A visit to Tabriz Grand Bazaar is not complete without visiting the legendary Mr. Ali. Mr. Ali is a humble local man who operates a small sewing machine repair shop. It's interesting to see all the sewing machine. And in the past seven years, from his humble repair shop, he has met and hosted some 12,000 foreigners. 12,000 people in a seven year period already visited Mr. Ali here and wrote in his book. In his books, because there are multiple books here. <laughs> some traditional Chinese here from Taiwan, Deutschland, Hungary, Netherlands, Czech Republic, Germany, Italy, China, United States of America. In hope of welcoming visitors as well as learning English. So in the past seven years, Mr. Ali has taught himself a very fluent conversational English by simply talking to visitors over tea. So I decided to come over and learn a few wisdoms from Mr. Ali himself and see what kind of life lesson he has to share with me today. But I am tired. Your English is much better than my Farsi. <laughs> I love that photo because it is exactly where he is now. Today, 
For me, very nice day because you come here, I'm very happy. Oh, just leaving my note in the legendary books of Mr. Ali. Oh. <laughs> that is so sweet. Olive, as. Or is that the date? Mr. Ali, my pleasure to meet Thank you. you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much for us. There you go, the legendary Mr. Ali here in Tabriz. Thank you, Mr. Thank Ali. You. Thank you. Bye -bye. All right, take care. <laughs> Inshallah, I'll see you again someday. <laughs> that is the most memorable experience I have here in Iran. Summarize everything about my experience here. I will remember this visit for a long time. Here, I guess hopefully I don't get hit. Okay, we're good. Okay. Okay, back to shopping. How many different kind of rice are these? Get honey. Oh, cheese. My initial thought was those are tofu, but they're actually cheese, and I'm sure it's all very locally made cheese. It looks yummy. I've had a few of them, and they all taste really good. Salam. Salam. Saffron. Fifty-two. Okay. Fifty-two. See, si, merci. Of course, what is a visit to Iran without getting one of these to take home? This is a little package of saffron, and it cost me fifty-one thousand tomen, which is a dollar and twenty-two cents for saffron in the U.S. This is a very expensive thing to have. Now comes to the quiet part of the bazaar. It's nice to have a little break from the crowd, and you can appreciate the architecture. That's what I want the most about visiting this bazaar. In the remote section of the bazaar like this, it just feels like you're stepping back in time for centuries. I love it. Right, kitty? Hi. Ooh, I'm sorry. Sorry, buddy. I'll leave you alone. It's just like walking in a maze because you don't know where you start or remember, you know, whether you've been walking on this alley or not. It's, it's just branches all over the place. And I get distracted easily, so you get anything shiny or bright and you have to look at it and then you just completely forget where you at. And there's no really map or anything to follow, so you just walk around, just embracing the bazaar. It's a fun day. So this is probably another popular section of the market that I unfortunately not gonna buy anything from. This is the uh, clothing section. So they're like winter jackets, underwear, t-shirts, scarves, anything you can think of, they sell it here. I'm sure that's gonna make some of drag queens so happy. And occasionally Hi. you find... Hi! Hi. <laughs> and occasionally you find something like this. A nice little break from the shopping experience. Uh, Isn't that beautiful? I think so. Textile section. Mom's gonna be so happy to be here. Hello, hello. Hi. <laughs> Dang, look at that. Mom, this one is for you. Shoe section. Although I'm not sure if they are authentic. Just saying. Now and then, you come out with this kind of courtyard in the middle of the market, which is nice to chill with a non-functioning water feature, but also just to see the sun, which is nice. Now I can even add the Mohammadi in it. Time for a little break and I got myself a really good cup of tea with a nabot and it costs 6 tomatoes, which is about 14 US cents. Ah, it's much needed break for sure. He also sells little snacks that they have eggs and baked potatoes. Ah, good food, huh? A snack to go, basically a pita wrap with mashed potatoes, eggs, pickles, and a lot of butter. It's 23,000 commands, which is 55 US cents. Tastes exactly like this, but this is definitely a good, fulfilling meal snack. It's like a burrito, Iranian burrito. I am so confused right now. I'm officially lost. <laughs> GPS doesn't really work really well here, so I gotta figure out manually where I need to go. It looks good. <laughs> very good, very good. It is lunchtime now, and in the middle of the market, there are a few restaurants, and this is one of the traditional ones. It's quite small, but then I just have to point out what I want. It seems like someone else eating it, and then 
looks good, so I'm gonna get something that looks like a stew of some sort, but it comes with a bread. You just tear off all the bread and put it inside this bowl. When in Rome, everybody's staring at me now, it's feel very uncomfortable, but I gotta show you how it's done. <laughs> You can thank me later. I put some of the chickpeas in to the bowl, put a little broth in it, and perhaps some lime. Throw it a few onions in it. Then I have to use this tool to mash everything in. Smells already amazing, but it now starts to look like something you want to eat. Now, it's gotta try this. Oh man, it's like a curry based dish, so it is very curry in taste to it. So while I'm on it, I gotta try the kebab. So this is definitely something that I've been longingly looking forward to eat. Oh, it's a little overdone for my taste. It is a bit dry in the inside. This is the birthplace of kebab. Thank you, y'all. <laughs> Thank you. Bye bye. That whole meal cost 77 tomans, which is a dollar and 85 cents for the whole meal, including a coke. I'm just literally stuffed now. Recommend it if you're in Tabriz. Eat here. Time to regroup, and I just sort of recounted my money or reorganized my money, and I think I still have about five dollars. So we're just kind of halfway. But I already got a lot of stuff. I already ate like a big lunch. I already got a few tea sessions. Your money can go a long way here. Holy crap. Seriously. Yes, yes. This is gas? Yes. Is it good? Good. Why not? I got like this much of gas. This gas, yeah. Seven. Okay, merci. A few gas. It's a favorite no good candy from Iran. It cost me seven months which is 17 US cents yay candy and this is the perfume section of the bazaar hi salam do you have soap sabun 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 pomegranate is good yeah thank you <laughs> get myself the pomegranate classic soap because simply I need a soap for myself it cost me 25,000 tomans which is about 60 US cents I trust this to be good because the shopkeeper seem to be know how to look pretty. Like Barberi. Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay, okay, okay. This okay. is how I trust Iranian. Just pick them up. That's it? Good okay. Product. Okay, thank you. I got two more things to add to the pile. The Nabot cost me 60 tomans, which is $1.44. And the Barberi is 25 tomans, 60 US cents. What is that? It's like a dinosaur meat. <laughs> It is technically starting of the uh, weekend for Iranians. That's why everybody's just flocking out here to the uh, bazaar. But people are nice. It's definitely everybody wants to say hi and selfie, and I'm I'm, I'm fine with that. <laughs> the uh, little taste of fame, I suppose. Oh, what is your name? Halef. 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 I'm Moser. Moser? Yes. You're gonna get a uh, pomegranate. Okay. 60? Yes! Thank you, mister. I Thank get a pomegranate you. here. <laughs> Six tomans, 14 US cents. This is gonna be good. Thank you. For the health conscious people, I got a normal sized carrot and banana and apple juice. It costs 25,000 tomans, 60 US cents. So good, it's so fresh. Assorted snacks and cold drink, which consists of potato chips, a bag of wafers, and two gas, cost me 41,000 tomans, which is 98 US cents. So I got a few small bills left over, so I'm gonna donate it to the mosque. And by the way, you can see all these boxes everywhere throughout the city and throughout the country. That's where you can donate some money for the charity. One of the must thing to do in Islam. There you go. So I hope this video inspires you to visit Tabriz here in Iran. If you do, give a thumbs up. And if you'd like to follow along with my journey all around Iran and beyond, hit that subscribe button. And thanks for watching. Oh, <laughs> I got it. <laughs>